Hello again everyone, Frank DeMora here with the End Times Research Ministry. Today is December the 6th of 2017. And what I want to do now is to cover what I believe is the most important story for the week. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we are definitely getting much closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm connecting the dots between Bible prophecy and the current events. And especially when it comes to the fact that the Lord commanded us to keep on the watch for these events to be played out, which in fact they are. And so if you just got to my YouTube channel, I want to invite you to go over to my website. You can see the address below in the right hand lower corner. And also once you get there, you'll be able to tap into the link, get that link Click it and you can get my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, absolutely free. And it gives details about the prophecy that I'm going to be talking about, which is found in Zechariah chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. In Zechariah chapter 12, verses 2 and 3, it says this, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about. When they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. This is one of the most important prophecies, I believe, because it really indicates how close we are to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if he tells us specifically to look at Jerusalem, look at the events that are taking place surrounding this city of Jerusalem, then we should be paying attention. And of course, the prophecy is very clear we're starting to see now those things that are mentioned in Zechariah chapter 12 verses 2 and 3. We're starting to see the whole world coming against Israel because of the city of Jerusalem. And recently Donald Trump has made a declaration that Jerusalem, this burdensome city is, as we see in the scripture, make it the capital of Israel. Now for those of you who don't know the correlation from the prophecy in the Bible and what's happening, take a look at the announcement and you'll understand that we are definitely close to the end times. The announcement was made December the 6th of 2017. It's just a short clip, but I want to show the people that haven't understood the connection between what Donald Trump just did and the road we're on to fulfill prophecy. It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And if you've been reading any of the news for the past week and a half since Donald Trump made that announcement, you would see that there's been many riots, not only in Israel, uh, with the, the Muslims who are resisting the fact that Israel really owns Jerusalem completely, but around the world, nations, one by one, that are coming against the nation of Israel because of this city, Jerusalem. And specifically, if you will, East Jerusalem, which houses the Islamic uh, Dome of the Rock, where that is the third holiest site for the, the Muslims. And of course, that's where Jesus prophesies that there's going to be a third temple that's going to be built again because the first and the second temples were destroyed, but in the last days, just before Jesus comes back, there's going to be a third temple. Now, one of the first stages that had to happen in order for that to take place is Israel has to have complete control and to do anything they want on the Temple Mount. And so recognition of the city of Jerusalem, I believe, is one giant step to the goal of finishing that prophecy. So I want to read an article now to you because if everybody is supposed to be coming against the nation of Israel and we're already seeing the chatter about lining up to attack Israel, better be paying attention to what Jesus Christ has to say. So let's go over to a new article that just came out 
and I'll show you the connection between Zechariah chapter 12 and what's in the news. It's identical. Watch this. This story was just released. Look at the headline. A Muslim country that is 4,700 miles from Israel wants to send its army to Jerusalem to defend it from the Jews. Malaysia is ready to send troops to Jerusalem, the defense minister said, calling President Donald Trump's decision to recognize the city as Israel's capital a slap in the face for the entire Muslim world. Malaysia is ready to send troops to Jerusalem, the defense minister said, calling President Donald Trump's decision to recognize the city of Israel's capital a slap in the face for the entire Muslim world. We are ready for any orders from the commander-in-chief of the armed forces should our services be needed. Malaysian Defense Minister Hishamuddin Hassan said in a speech on Saturday according to the Mele Mail Online, Muslim majority Malaysia has long supported Palestinians' quest for statehood. We were shocked earlier this week with the worrisome news that would affect global geopolitical stability, Hassan was quoted as saying. Now in this video, obviously I don't have the time to give you all of the news compiled for the last couple of weeks since Donald Trump made the announcement that he was going to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And all the events that have happened in all the nations that are coming against Israel because of that move and uh, since Donald Trump the, made that announcement there have been other nations as well supporting that initiative uh, one being Guatemala which was the latest saying that they would also move the uh, embassy to Jerusalem so the focus is on that city just like Zechariah was told by God and it is going to get ratched up we haven't seen the end of this for sure because the road that we're on is definitely leading to the prophecy being fulfilled so some of the things that you should be looking for number one more conflict over Jerusalem there will probably be a war over the city of Jerusalem we know that because of what Zechariah said everyone the whole world including eventually the United States so I would imagine that when Donald Trump is out of office and uh, there's a new president that president more than likely would be a president similar to Barack Hussein Obama who was really throwing Israel under the bus for his eight-year term and I would imagine we're gonna have another president just like that because the prophecy does state all people that would include the United States of America. So the direction that we're going in is the exact same direction that we see in Scripture. That's why it's so important to watch the news, keep uh, familiar with what the Bible says, connecting both the news and the Bible. Uh, to get you ready to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that's what it's all about. He gave us this information to keep us informed so that we would know just how close we really were to seeing the second coming of Jesus Christ and I know that there are a lot of people out there who don't believe this but there were a lot of people uh, during Noah's generation when Noah was preaching about the flood that was coming and uh, eventually it did come and those people were all swept away and I'd hate to see that happen again uh, during the tribulation period because you refuse to believe what Jesus Christ has warned us before it actually happens. So if you see the events coming uh, exactly as prophesied, I don't know what would stop you from asking Jesus to be your Messiah. I would recommend that you do it today. Your time is running out. This is Frank DeMore with the End Times Research Ministry. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go over to my website. Get that book today for free. God bless.